How's it going everyone? I just wrapped up at the gym so that prompted me to make this video and some of you on the channel have asked me to cover this topic as well just going over which shoes I would recommend for the gym. As we go throughout the video I'll talk about what my favorite shoes are for these certain activities and what others I would recommend and then some shoes that I would recommend avoiding as well. For me I love buying gym shoes because it's something that motivates me a lot like getting a new item to wear to the gym can be extremely exciting and motivating and also it's something that you can wear more frequently than a shirt or a short unless you just really love doing laundry i also prefer to have most of my gym shoes be cross-functional in the way of i can wear them to the gym but they're also pretty casual and i can wear them out as streetwear as well and that's really where we dive into the differences between the functionality of shoes and when it's right to wear them for certain workouts and certain days as well. So a good example of this would be leg day. And this is definitely gonna be the one day of the week where I recommend you wear a specific type of shoe and that's gonna be a flat shoe. The reason being for this is if you're doing deadlifts or squatting or whatever it may be, you definitely want a flatter shoe so you don't feel like you're either on your toes or there's an imbalance. It just feels a lot more comfortable. I even see a lot of people at the gym going no shoes at all and rocking the barefoot or just at least a sock. That's definitely not what I like to do, but you really drives the point home in terms of having that flat foot and that extra stability when you're lifting and hitting legs. So my favorite shoe for this is gonna be the Nike Blazer. And so much so that I have two pairs of them actually. So I love these a lot. The break-in process can be a little bit tedious with these shoes, but nonetheless, I think they're a great looking shoe. They're certainly really popular, so I'm sure you're gonna see them at the gym quite a bit. I feel super stable when I'm wearing this shoe, and ultimately, I think they look really good. I Nike ID'd these ones for an all white look and then a little bit of black leathering and like a black sole, just to put a little bit of a touch on it. And then for this one, this is just like the classic green color that they mass produce. And the interesting thing is though, if you go with this version, which is $20 cheaper than the Nike ID version, the break-in process for these was pretty brutal, to be honest. It takes about three weeks to break them in, but after that break-in period, I feel like they're comfortable enough, like certainly not the most comfortable shoe, but I've also had more uncomfortable shoes, which we'll talk about later in this video that I felt like never broke in at all. So that said, with the flat shoe, you could go different options other than Nike Blazers too if you don't love the look of this specific shoe. So you could go with Converse or Vans, whatever you really prefer. At the end of the day, a flat shoe is the name of the game. Now this might just be me and my preference, but I don't like to run for cardio. So I really like to do the Stairmaster more times than not, or if those are taken up, I'll do the elliptical just to get the blood flowing. And that's what I do for my cardio. And I've seen great results with that. And what I love about those machines is I don't need a running shoe and I can wear more of a casual shoe to the gym that is gonna be cross-functional and look really good. And for me, I think gym fit matters and looking good in the gym means you're gonna perform well, and I think it's all a bit psychological, but I think it really plays into it. And again, we're getting a lot of bang for your buck in that gym shoe because you're gonna be able to wear it in other occasions other than just that specific hour in the morning that you spend at the gym. So my current favorite casual gym shoe is gonna be the Nike Dunk. It's certainly not the most practical, like I would not wear this for a leg day, but if you're hitting chest or back or shoulders, arms, abs like you don't need like the shoe that you're using in my opinion really doesn't even matter at that point so we might as well go for style and this is definitely a shoe that's in right now again it's super super trendy nike even tagged last year as like the year of the dunk so i leaned into it as well and sebum wears it so you know it has to be a good shoe for the gym and i really like it and think it looks very stylish if you want a bit narrower and thinner of a shoe then i would go with the nike blazer lows these are the jumbo version just a little bit different and i think it adds a little bit of style there and then i also like the jordan lows as well and that's actually next on my list to get obviously these are all nikes but personally i'm just a nike guy through and through we lived in the northwest for a while like just a few minutes away from the nike headquarters so i'm not an adidas guy but if you prefer any of those stylish sneakers, then I think that's a great way to go in the gym. And then if you do like to run before you actually work out, I would just recommend bringing another pair of running shoes. And that's gonna lead us into the next segment, which is gonna be running shoes. Again, like I said, I'm not the biggest runner, but I do have some preferences and I have done enough research to know which shoes I would get if I had gotten into that. So with that said, my first pick is gonna be a Hoka. It's definitely not the most stylish, but my girlfriend's gotten into running and that's next up for her as well. I know they're super comfortable and they're good for your feet and great for running, everything like that. So it's a very practical shoe. I usually wear the Allbird Tree Dashers and I have them right here actually, so I'll grab them. 
I like these a lot because I think they're pretty multifunctional. They look pretty good. Now, Allbirds is somewhat of a newer brand into the market, but I really like the Tree Dasher specifically, and it's actually my most comfortable shoe that I own. So I like to wear it casually in the summer as well. And it's just a great shoe for those times where I actually do wanna hop on the treadmill and go for a run or go outside or go on a nice long walk. These are my shoe of choice. So I would definitely recommend these. And I think they're a bit stylish too. A few years ago before Allbirds got really popular, I would get a lot of comments and questions on these shoes and people would ask what they are. But I think they've gotten so popular over time that people kind of know what this shoe is now. And these are just the all white. Now other running shoes that you can go with obviously would be some Adidas or Nike Vaporflies, whatever you really like and that. On clouds are another popular option too. So it really just comes down to preference there. And that's kind of a different segment, but I'm talking more of shoes that we would be wearing for training. So I'm gonna try to stick more on topic there and we'll get back onto that subject. Now I'm gonna talk about some shoes that I would definitely recommend avoiding in the gym. And here's a couple reasons why. The first one's gonna be the Nike Metcon. They're an extremely popular shoe. I actually have two pairs of these. So different versions of them, definitely as you can see here. Um, I, I think they look really good and that's certainly the appeal with these shoes. I really love the look of this shoe. I think it looks really, really clean and it's just, it, it looks great, but when you put it on, it's gotta be the most uncomfortable shoe that I've ever owned and they seem to never break in. They've never gotten better and I hardly ever wear them. So it's been unfortunately a bit of a waste of money and I'm just surprised how often I actually see these shoes. So I personally would recommend avoiding the Nike Metcons overall. Now a caveat to that would be the Nike Free Metcon 4, which I think they recently released and this is one of Nike's top selling workout shoes currently. I see them almost all the time in the gym. It's a little absurd actually, more than like blazers or anything else. So I'm guessing these are actually a comfortable shoe and with the free, in them, I think they will be comfortable. So if you like the look of those, then I would definitely go ahead and look at that and try them. Now, obviously the workout you're gonna be doing that day is gonna dictate what shoe you're gonna wear. And that's why I like to know what I'm hitting well in advance, typically a day or two ahead, I already know what I'm hitting for the week. And so it makes it easy for me to know when I'm going to the gym, what shoe to be wearing for that specific day. If you're interested in this video, I would also recommend watching my best men's shorts for the gym video. I think that was really helpful and it's gotten a really good response on the channel. So I would definitely go ahead and check that out. And I really hope that you found this video helpful. I tried my best to cover all my bases here, but for me, I stick usually just to training and weightlifting at the gym. And I think there's really just a couple of main options you can go. And one of the most important things is style. That's certainly a consideration as well as comfort too. So keep those things in mind. If you did find the video helpful, please go ahead and throw it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you would like. And other than that, I guess we'll catch you on the next video.